Okay, straight into this. Um, I am creating the moon in the backdrop. And I've used yellow and white. These are acrylic paints. And I'm just adding that little extra bit onto the other piece, which I didn't show you because I was trying to... Um, shorten the video because it was a very very long video so here i am just creating all my like the like the road in the background and here i am applying the fence the metal frame fence so the the background of the road is like going up a hill and down almost trying to put some little spikes on the um, fence they didn't look right in the end. And here I am trying to highlight the, almost like the um, paving stones, is that, is that what it is? Curb, that's the one the curb to the hill or the walkway whichever whichever maybe the two so now I'm going to create Jack himself here here I'm you can't see me drawing on there because it's such a dark colour but I was just trying to give myself a rough idea of how big I want his head. Again, I am using acrylic paint. Um, this is titanium white. And I've added a little bit of water into it, which just helps it to flow a li little bit more easier. And I'm giving him a neck. Now for his jacket, you c because I'm painting on a dark colour, you can't really see um, so much of that. So you may want to um, grab a picture for reference. Um, I mean, you'll see it eventually. But because I'm doing it on a dark background, which is pretty stupid of me, really. I should have done it on a, a lighter background. But... You know, everyone makes mistakes. Just have the image of uh, what to create his collar. Just have the image of like almost like a bat. Because that's what it is. Is um, it's like his collar is like the wings. And then, in between the two wings, at the base of his neck you have the back face if that makes sense i'm just doing his shoulders so i've got a rough idea of where his shoulders are going to come out now i'm doing his his stomach area his chest and stomach area so this is just mapping everything out it will get coloured in a little bit better. This is just my guide. And I will go back and forth through the different nails that I've, I am creating. So, you know, I start, started with the other one, then I started with this one, then I'll do the next one. Then I'll probably come back to this one and so on. Like that. So this is having its second coat. I 
I'm not overly too fussed about that uh, belly area because obviously it's going to have a um, a pumpkin there. So here I'm creating that. I don't know if it's like a, a mountain top um, effect. We're just marking it out with the white. Um, but before I applied that on, what I'd done is I'd top coated it with a matte top coat. Um, just to protect what I'd already done. And then I uh, line that up with the other nail um, that has got the other part of the moon on and just so that I can get them roughly in the same place. Yeah, just trying to work out, do I do the full like that? There we go. Just tidying up that edge. So it has like a finish of that mountain top. Here I'm just creating a bit of shad dark shadowing on the pathway. And I do, I don't think I show you, but I put some pumpkins, I put three pumpkins um, and I use a, yeah, I do three pumpkins on this nail. I don't show you me doing them all. Um, I show you, I think I show you these three. And then on the other nail, I don't show you, but I'll put two on the other nail. I think I shouldn't have put the pumpkins on there, to be honest. I don't know whether that spoiled it. So here I am doing Jack's pumpkin. Um, and this will have two coats of the orange. And another pumpkin here. On this now, what I didn't show you is it was just a dark tree. So it branches and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. You know, I didn't want to leave the tree in because everyone knows how to draw a, you know, a branchy, crooked tree. You know, the main thing I wanted to concentrate on was Jack himself and obviously the background where the moon was, um, the tree was just, just to add an extra nail, to be honest. Oh, excuse me. So I think this is the third coat that I've put on Jack's face. And his neck, and I made that a little bit thick, so I think I cleaned that down. Now I'm going to do the bat, just to highlight it. And which this is what I was saying earlier on about his collar and his neck is the shape of a bat. Similar anyway. I will that will be painted black later on. So here I'm just creating a bat in that um skyline and yep where the moon is.
back to Jack. I think I'm going to create his eyes. I was trying to think what I was doing next. Yeah. Making sure that those eyes are how I need them. And then the two little lines for his nose. And then obviously then his smiling stitched up mouth. A hair on there. Sorry about my bumps in the way, my head that is. I think I'm just going to highlight so, you, so you're able to see where his colour is. Kind of. I'll be going over it with white stripes anyway because obviously his jacket is black and white. I'm going to create the pumpkin's eyes. I'm going to give him, uh, not the eyes, sorry, the mouth. I'm giving him the same face as what Jack's got. Create his eyes. I can't remember if I gave it a nose. I may have left the nose off. Can't remember. Okay, we'll soon find out. No, I'll give him a nose. And then I think I'll do his skeleton hands. His thumb would be behind the back of the pumpkin, if you would be holding it that way. Okay, so now I'm putting his stripes on his jacket, because his jacket does have white stripes down it. And his collar and this is where you'll see his jacket then you, you know you're able to see it better and then we're going to colour in the bat his face once I've done that I'm going to matte top coat them all and yeah this is the end of the video guys Thanks for watching.